Oh boy, here they come. Here they come. Oh. <laughs> Limelight of the stage. How's our little actress this morning? Catherine is so excited she slept in her costume. Angie's ironing it right now. Ah, oh, Catherine's gonna make a great Cinderella. Do you know how hard she's been practicing? If I hear her solo one more time, I'm going to turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> Especially with those three hags hanging round. Oh, I wish Father still was here with me to help get me out of Missouri. Catherine, that's misery, not Missouri. To help get me out of misery. I wish I could sing like you. You do sing like me. Better than me. Really? Just as good. But you're going to be a rock star. Maybe we can have an act together. You know, like the Pointer Sisters. Uh-oh. I'm getting a kind of funny feeling in my stomach. It's called the jitters. It means you're going to have a great show. That's good, because when Prince Charming had it yesterday, he threw up on the principal. <laughs> <laughs> How's our little shining star doing? Fantastic. I even had the jitters. Oh, you'll be fine, honey. I know. Aunt Charity told me. See that? Siblings being supportive of each other. Miracles can happen. You did it Whoa. again! I did not! You did too! Did not! Too! Not! Guess you want to starch in that shirt. Stop wearing my clothes. Like you ever wear that shirt anyway. I wear it a lot. Then why did I find it in the closet on a hanger? Huh? If it was one of your favorites, it would have been on the floor with everything else you wear. Look! Don't wear my clothes. I don't want your girly girl smell on my stuff. What was I saying about the kids getting along? But how can a prince see through the rags I have on? Especially with those three hags hanging round. Oh, I wish father still was here with me. To help get me out of misery. So you got to have faith and dream by the fire. And trust the true love to show you how to aim higher. When the pumpkins are cold, you start to retire and stop. She fantastic? She was great. Catherine, you were all that in a bag of chips. And with Roy, you've got the dip to go with it. Was I really good, Angie? Catherine, you rocked. Yeah, and when your stepsisters locked you in a cellar, the dude in front of me cried. What dude? You cried. Mr. and Mrs. Bindle, babe, I'm Sylvia Banks. And Sylvia Banks? The Sylvia Banks? The real? Live Sylvia Banks? When we were in college in Philadelphia, he took me to see you in Pal Joey. Are you still performing? Oh, I still do a little dinner theater every now and then, but my main interest is my children's talent agency. Oh, listen, I just wanted to tell you that this little one is amazing. She would be perfect for a lot of things, catalogs, print ads. In fact, I have a client who would love to see Catherine for a local TV spot. Really? Oh, that's very flattering, but I don't know if that's what Catherine really wants to do. It is, trust me. Can I do it, Mom? Please? I don't know, Catherine. We'll see. Oh, 
Why not? Catherine, your mother didn't say no. No, but she said we'll see. That's how grown-ups say no when they don't want to say no until later. Smart child. But won't you at least consider it? Of course we will. Won't we, Norma? We'll see. Norma, did I tell you that I think Catherine gets her talent from you? If this is about Catherine trying out for that commercial again... You saw how Catherine was on stage tonight. She's a natural. Who knows where it could lead? I'll tell you where it could lead. Rejection. If she tries out and doesn't get it, who knows what that will do to her self-confidence. I mean, Raven Simone turned out okay. Good night, Arthur. So tell me, Catherine, or Kate, as you're known to your friends, may I call you Kate? Oh, all right, Dan. Great. Now, your work has earned you a Tony, an Oscar, an Emmy. Your telethon has raised billions for the underprivileged, and yet you still found the time to complete college and graduate school. So can you tell all your fans watching out there tonight the secret of your success? Yes, and I can put it into one word, Dad. From an early age, he encouraged me to go for my dream when there were others who were afraid I'd fail. But my father always had faith in me, and everything I do, I dedicate to him. This is for you, Daddy. We're here with Catherine Bindlebeep, whose latest book, Dealing with Disappointment, Not Child's Play, has been on the New York Times bestseller list for 71 weeks, 4 days, and 17 hours. Now, Ms. Bindlebeep, you're a published juggernaut. This is your third straight number one bestseller. To what do you owe your incredible success? Everything I achieved can be summed up in one word. Mom. When I was growing up, my mother protected me from things that others in my family thought would be good for me. If it weren't for her gentle guidance, who knows what mistakes I might have made. I was young, impressionable. I guess this is all by way of saying, thanks, Mom. I love you. Come on, kids, we're gonna be late. Sylvia, what brings you over here? Well, should I go into a long story about how my car just happened to run out of gas right in front of your house? Or should I cut to the chase and talk to you about Catherine? I think you should talk about me. Oh, there's a little princess. After I got home last night, I just kept hearing Catherine singing. I know what you mean. She made us watch the video till 11. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she really is talented. I got up early today, called that client I told you about, and, well, they want to see her for a commercial. A commercial? Like on television? Uh-huh, for Dixon's Dairy. Dixon's Dairy with cream as smooth as silk. See? She's a natural. Can I do it, Daddy, please? Do what? Try out for a commercial. Well, I, I, I don't know, Sylvia. My wife's not entirely comfortable with the whole acting idea. Please, Daddy, please. Come on, Dad. Let her do it. Mom won't care. Well, what would we have to do? It's simple. Just have Catherine at Pilgrim Studios at 3 o'clock today. Well, oh, that's that's not going to work. Why? That's not far from here at all. I know, I know, but I have a committee meeting right after school, and your mother will be at the book convention till late, and there's no way to get Catherine there. I could take her. Yeah, I always do better with Angie there. I don't know. I get out of school at 2.30. But your math tutor will be here at 4. Oh. Okay, we'll be back by four. Now, don't worry. Once this little angel opens her mouth, they'll know she is perfect for it. Yeah, Daddy, please. Oh, no, not the puppy dog eyes. Well, I guess a yogurt commercial is pretty innocent. Fresh air, warm sun, and sparkling water. Kisses from the farmer's daughter. Dixon Dairy has the happiest cows, so get some hot fudge yogurt now. Bravo, Catherine. Sylvia said you were special, but not that special. And I haven't heard anyone sing that song any better. Thanks, Mr. Coulter. Do you want me to do it exactly like that when we make the commercial? Commercial. Oh, the commercial. You know, it's just, it's, there's something wrong with the song. It, it, it feels so... <laughs> 
old school. I'll say. Pardon? Look, it's nice and everything, but that song isn't going to make me and my friends run out and buy your yogurt. Really? What one? You were awesome, Catherine. Thanks, Angie. You won't believe how good she was, Dad. She was like a pro. I'm glad it went well, Catherine. Thanks, Daddy. I'm going to get that commercial for sure. Well, now let's not get ahead of ourselves. She's a singe. They loved her. And when we left, the director said he'll be talking to Sylvia. I can't wait to tell Mommy. I wonder what she's going to say. Oh, plenty. But not in front of you. Oh, Sylvia. Hello, Dr. Bindleby. Um... Did the girls give you the lowdown on how everything went today? Yes, but did Catherine really do as well as they say? Yes, she did. And did the director love her as much as they say? Yes, he did. So, my Catherine got it? No, she didn't. Pardon? Well, they want to go with Angie. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> this doesn't say anything about a bell. But you said they were looking for a little girl. <sighs> they were, but when they heard Angie sing, they decided it was time for Dixon Dairy Girl to grow up. But Catherine's sitting out there thinking she's going to be in a commercial. Oh, man. Look, I can't let Angie do this. It's just not worth the headache. Well, is it worth this? They'd pay Angie that much for one little commercial. Mm -hmm. That's more than she'd make babysitting in a year. But as much as they like Angie, they'll find someone else if I don't give them an answer tonight. Now, are you prepared to take that money away from Angie without even telling her about it? I'll call you in an hour. So you got to have faith in dreams by the fire. And trust the true love to show you how to aim higher. When the pumpkin the coach is time to retire and start to Arthur? Arthur, was that Sylvia Banks I saw leaving? Yes, she just dropped off some papers. For what? You did what? I couldn't help it, Norma. Look, the girls wore me down, like the drip, drip, drip of water on a rock. How could you say yes when you knew I was against it? Norma, do you know how hard it is to say no when Catherine looks up at you with those big puppy dog eyes? And then how are you going to tell that little puppy that they picked her big sister instead? I can answer that in one word. Angie! They want me to do the commercial? That's right. Wow! <laughs> My first real singing job! I do have talent! What am I gonna wear? What? <laughs> okay, Missy, slow down. Would you mind explaining how it is that you took Catherine to audition for a commercial and you ended up getting the job? Weird, isn't it? Showbiz! And nothing happened that made them think that maybe they should go with an older girl? Nope. You sure? Positive. Mm -hmm. Unless it was, um... Unless it was what? Well, um, there was this one little thing. You know, there's just, it's, there's something wrong with the song. It, it, it feels so <laughs> old school. I'll say. Pardon? Look, it's nice and everything, but that song isn't going to make me and my friends run out and buy your yogurt. Really? What one? Well, do you mind? Hmm. Maybe something like this. Hey, everybody, haven't you heard? Dixon's Dairy now, that's the word. Well, if you're looking for some eating thrills, we'll get their new fudge yogurt because it totally kills. So when you want something that really tastes great, something like that. <laughs> Would you mind doing that again? Sure. Hey, everybody, haven't you heard? Dixon's Dairy now, that's the word. Well, if you're looking for some eating thrills, Sorry. Uh, go ahead, girl. Hey, everybody. Have you heard Dicks and Dairy? Now that's the word. Sorry, Catherine, but we have to go. Another appointment? Yes, with the, um, numbers man. <laughs> oh, you know showbiz. <laughs> I can finish it before we go. Don't worry, Catherine. You nailed it. 
I did. I'm sorry. Catherine, that's a good thing. Oh, in that case, thanks, Mr. Coulter. Bye. Goodbye, Catherine. Angie, you'll be hearing from us. Okay, maybe a little part of me was trying to impress them. I just wanted to show what I can do. Well, I hope Catherine understands when you kind of happen to tell her that. I can't do that. You know how Catherine gets with those puppy dog eyes? I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Now, go on. I don't know where to start. Come in. Oh, hi, Angie. Hi, Catherine. What you doing? Oh, just telling Mr. Bummy that when I make that commercial, he can come with me. Of course, I want you there, too. Oh. <laughs> uh, Catherine, there's something I need to talk to you about. Yes? Uh, don't do that. What? Nothing. You know, Kath, that commercial? <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's huge! Roy, what's wrong? This! What do you smell? Perfume. Exactly! Angie wore one of my shirts again. We scrimmaged some ninth graders today, and after practice, one of them comes up to me and says, Ooh, who smells so divine? Wait, I think it's Roy Vindelbeef. Is that you, Roy? And what is that wonderful aroma? Ooh, I do believe it's Desert Passion. Roy, those boys don't know a thing. It's Midnight Lace, not Desert Passion. She's not in there. Where is she? In Catherine's room, but I wouldn't go in. There. Catherine, I didn't mean to, honest. Yes, you did. What? Are you wearing hard clothes now, too? Angie stole my commercial. I did not. The people heard me singing. They decided they wanted someone older, so they picked me instead of Catherine. You stole her commercial. I wish I didn't have you as a sister. Oh, grow up, Catherine. You grow up. You grow up. Why? So I can be like you? You should be so lucky. Brad! Brad! Commercial stealer! Angie, Catherine, chill. Look, I know Angie does some stupid things. Really stupid things. Okay, extremely stupid things. And this is helping how? But one thing that she'll never try to do is make you mad. She saves all that for me. I guess that's the way it is with older sisters and younger brothers. It's like a rule or something. Just like the rule that says you don't wear your brother's clothes. But that's not the way it is with you two. As much as it hurts me to say something nice about her, Angie do anything for you. That's right, Catherine. And, and if you don't want me to do the commercial, I'll tell them no. No biggie. Really? Yeah. Look, I want to make it to the top, but... I don't want to step on my sister to do it. But if you don't do it, they'll pick a different older girl, right? I suppose. When you get paid, will you take me and Molly to Wild Water World? Sure. For two days? You got it. A week? Kath, you really want to spend a whole week with her? <sighs> okay, Angie, you can be my sister again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kath. Love ya. Me too. Roy? Yeah, right. Like that'll ever happen. Just stay away from my shirts, okay? Uh, Roy, that was me. Huh? I was playing dress up and I put on your shirt and sprayed myself with mom's perfume. Women. We may have another patient on our hands. Angie, get in here. You're gonna miss it. They're starting the commercials now. Come on, Angie. Aren't you excited? Hey, it's no big deal. If you blink, you'll miss it. Wow! Look at this new yogurt. Wow! It looks delicious. When did they come out with this? Everybody, haven't you heard? Dixon's Dairy now, that's the word. Well, if you're looking for some eating thrills, we'll get the new fudge yogurt because it totally kills. So when you want something that really tastes great, buy some for 
you and so for your date. Wow, Angie, uh, you were terrific. A talking cow, how clever. Yeah, you were utterly amazing. I guess you'll be moving to Hollywood soon. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. I thought you were the best cow I've ever seen. Thanks, Catherine. Now, can we watch me doing Cinderella again, please? <laughs> Thank you. 